Welcome to Twitter, your network extravaganza. Head to twitter.com to get started. And then we're going to sign up by adding our full name, our email address, and by creating a password. This video will then take you through the steps of the Twitter account creation wizard and help you get connected with some educators in South Australia. Once you're inside, Twitter will check your account. But I would uncheck keep me signed in on this machine because that could be a bit tricky if it's not your personal machine. Here you can see the suggestions that Twitter makes for your Twitter handle or ID. Choose one of those if you like them. And I always turn off tailor my Twitter experience because I don't want it to tailor it. I'll do that myself. Create an account. And now you'll see Twitter create your stream and walk you through it with my help. So the first thing you'll see is the Twitter teacher reminding you that you have 140 characters to use in any tweet and that they can contain URLs. They can also contain hashtags, which we'll get to later. Below that, you will see a blank version of what will be your stream. It's empty, so let's add some people. Twitter likes you to follow at least three people before you can move forward. But unfortunately, it also suggests celebrities. We're repurposing technology, so let's find some educators. We'll start with me. My name's Selena Woodward and my Twitter handle is at Teacher Technol. You just type in my handle, press enter, and I should appear below. You can hit follow and you'll see that you're following me. The next person we'll follow is Dr. Shaley Page of Flinders University. And then we'll move on to some Canadian educators. How about George, who is the connected principal and has a lot of followers, about 15,000 at the last look. Here we go. And his brother, Alec. Now I've spelled that wrong there, that's not going to work. It's actually Kurosa the other way around to his brother. So Kurosa, press enter. There he is. Hit follow. Let's start with Flinders. There we go. So now you can see on the right hand side that we've got five people that we're following and that their latest tweets are already appearing. This is what it looks like. When we follow someone, we see what they tweet, regardless of whether it's in a category or not, in a tag or not. Now we can hit next. Now we can also add more people. It's going to show us by category. We could search by education, but I think we'll skip this step and because we're going to create a network of people that we're going to be recommended and that we're going to know today. But there's nothing wrong if you want to explore with exploring that. We'll hit skip this step. Next, it gives us the option to connect to our email accounts and search our friends and contacts there, which you're welcome to do. You can also type people's names in. So let's look for Tina. Tina works at Cowandilla Primary School at the moment, a fantastic languages teacher, vice president of the Computers and Education Group of South Australia. And Pam. Pam also used to be on the committee. Now, Pam's quite interesting. You can see there are plenty of Pam Thompsons, and that's why it's really important that Pam set up her bio and her image correctly. I know Pam and I know what she looks like, so having her correct profile picture there really helps me to pick the right person. Now we'll skip. Here's where you can set up that profile picture. It won't appear like this as standard. You'll actually be an egg because Twitter is all about little birds. Um, but And people don't follow eggs because they don't know who you are. And if you have no bio, they won't follow you either because they don't know who you are or why you're on Twitter. So fill in your bio. Tell them that you're a student from Flinders University or tell them where you work. Tell them what it is that you're hoping to use Twitter for. Make sure that you have a reason to connect with other people and that people have a reason to connect with you. Then you need to think about your Twitter profile image and it should be a picture of yourself. As you can see from the many Pams, it was very important that Pam had a picture of herself. So we can head into our files and we can look on our local machine for a photograph of ourselves to use as our profile picture. And it will upload it, resize it all for you, does all the jiggery pokery, it's very easy. And you'll see, there I am with a coffee, one of my favourite beverages. I'm ready, let's hit done. Okay, so here's now our Twitter feed. There's my profile, my picture, my ID, and if I click on my name, I'll head back into my profile. I'm following seven people. Let's see who they are by clicking on that. Here they are, here's their bios and their images. If I want to unfollow anyone, all I have to do is click on the word following 
and they're gone. That means I won't see anything they say. If you click the little person next to the name, you'll see lots of other options. You can tweet directly to a person, but you can also block them and you can report them for abuse. So if you are following people who are taking advantage, which doesn't really happen in the way we use it, but you know, it's good to know that there are those settings there to use. Let's head back to our bird home. So here we go. Here's our Twitter stream with the five people in it that we're following. Now, interestingly, we didn't follow Cap that, but you can see that Selena Woodward, that's me, I retweeted that. So because I've retweeted it, we can see their profile. This is another way of finding new followers. Now I've got no followers at the moment, which means that anything that I tweet, no one's going to see it unless I use a hashtag and they seem to be searching for that. But you can see how easy it is to build a following. Just click on somebody's name, you can read their bio, and you can hit follow. Oh, new tweet. Alex added something in the last couple of seconds. So you can see the stream is very active, even though I've only followed a couple of people. Over here we have trends. They're phrases that are repeated frequently in our local area. And we have suggestions of people to follow. Now, there's not too many there that are helpful, but the top one here is Angela. And here's again why your bio is so important. I don't know Angela personally, but I can read about what she does. And I can also see that some of the people in my, in my followers follow her and that she has quite a substantial number of followers. I'm going to follow her based on what I can read there. I think she might be good value. Okay, let's go and find other ways to connect with other people. We click the at sign and the connect. You'll see first of all there's a reminder that we need to go and authenticate our account, which we should do very soon. But up here in the search box, we can actually use this area to find people and to find topics. Now I'm typing in what's known as a hashtag at the moment. Hash EdChat is a worldwide global tag that educators use to have conversations about education. Education chat, EdChat. And you can see there are a heap of people and organisations in here all talking about education. And during the day, the time zones will change. At the moment, there'll be quite a few Americans and Canadians awake because it's the evening for them. It's morning here. Okay, but you can see here that there's plenty of conversation that's worth eavesdropping onto and there's opportunities to follow new people. Let's check out Dr. Justin. There's his bio, sounds useful, his blog address, and again, people that I follow, follow him. So let's give him a go and add him to our network. So you can see that hashtags are like TV channels. They're channels of information and all you have to do is write hash and the, the actual tag into your tweet to contribute to that conversation. So here's ours for 3628, hash EDUC 3628, and here are the top tweeters for that that we can see. If we want to see everybody, we hit all, and even the newbies will appear. So here we can see one of the students, Alicia. So I'm going to reply to her. Can you see the links when I hover over? I know I'm replying to her because her Twitter handle appears at the beginning automatically with the at sign in front of it. And I'm just going to say congratulations to her for being connected and for having herself all set up. Absolutely brilliant bio and images there. Well done. And I've directly messaged her. So it's as simple as that to reply. I can also retweet. And what retweeting does is it copies that message and puts it into my stream. So anyone who's following me will benefit from that. So if I find a resource, I can retweet it to everyone and they might find it useful. I can also favourite something, which puts it in a list for later. Let's discover what else Twitter has on offer. You can see the hash there, and this will show you stories and hashtags that are popular. So the hashtags that are popular will appear in trends, and on the right hand side it will go through our network and look for the most frequently retweeted tweets and stories that are appearing most often. Because we're following a lot of educators, our stream will automatically show us education stories. So that can be quite interesting as well in terms of connecting with what's going on in the community, the global community. Let's head back home. From here, I can click on this blue icon and create a new tweet, 140 characters to connect with my network. I would like to include Dr. Shaley Page in this tweet. This isn't going to be private, but because I've put at Dr. Shaley Page, her Twitter handle, she will be notified that I've been talking to her or about her in my conversation. She'll be notified because that at connect sign in the top left navigation bar will glow blue for her to just let her know that someone's talking to her directly. This isn't a private message and that's really important to remember. Anyone in my follow stream can see it. You can also see that 
I've added a hashtag EDUC3628 and then I can add images or add my location if I want to. Now when I tweet that, that tweet will appear both in Shaley's followings, it will appear in anyone who follows me, which at the moment is zero, and it will also appear under that channel, that hashtag of EDUC3628. Now the blue things in there are links, so I can go directly to that person or that hashtag. So let's click on EDUC3628 and we'll see if I've appeared in the stream. Now to start with, this will load the top people. That's the people who tweet most frequently. So we'll change it to all because this is a new account. And there you are, you can see it. So if you can't see yourself, click all and you will be able to see everybody who tweets. I can also click on Shaylee's name there and I can see her profile just to show you how that works. So if I'm not following her from here, I can follow her. Okay, so composing a new tweet is pretty simple. Okay, let's head home.